Here I am booting my HP laptop. It's a Pavilion 1000. And the information that I'm going to give you in this video is not for beginners in computers. I would recommend that you back up your computer 100% and have recovery software and know how to use it in case something goes wrong. But what I want to do on my laptop is change the boot picture from the one that's supplied by HP to a picture that I'm going to take from the NASA website. This is the picture that I want to change out. And the first step is to find, or how do you find, this picture? Well, when I first started thinking about this, I go, well, it'll probably be in Windows or maybe something called Systems, or I'll look for an HP folder to get started. To shorten this story a whole lot, I eventually found the picture in Windows. But as I was searching, every folder that I looked through, I changed to thumbnail because it's much easier to locate pictures that way. So the picture name for this laptop, HP, is Blue Lounge, and the size of the picture is 1920 by 1200, and it's a bitmap, and the size is 6.59 megabytes. I went ahead and put it in Photoshop to find out what resolution was used, and it's 72. So now I have all the information I need, size and resolution, and what type, bitmap, to make another picture that I can substitute. I went to the NASA website and chose this supernova as the picture I wanted to use. And I put it in Photoshop and set up the cropping tool so it would crop it exactly to the pixels that I needed and resolution and after I cropped the picture I saved it on the desktop as a bitmap. Now that I've got this new picture on the desktop it still has the NASA original name I went back to the Windows folder and from the properties I copied in the lettering by doing a control C. This makes sure that I don't misspell anything. Then I went back to the desktop and renamed the picture I just made. So now the new picture is now named Blue Lounge. I now went back to the Windows folder and renamed the original Blue Lounge picture by just simply taking off the last E because I want to keep the original in case I want to go back to it. And then I just went back to the desktop and dragged in the new Blue Lounge which you can see here. And now the next time that I boot up the software will still pick out the Blue Lounge name, but now I will have a new picture associated with it. So now it's time to reboot the computer and see what happens.
Obviously, I have cut out some of the boot video so we could get up to the part we're interested in. And it works fine. And maybe in a few weeks or months, I'll uh, change out the picture to, oh, something like uh, some pictures from the moon landing or some other uh, galaxy pictures, maybe like Andromeda. The possibilities are endless.